What's up creators, my name is Marco Valdez and I'm gonna be showing you the quickest and most efficient way of how to smooth skin in Adobe Photoshop 2022 style. Does that sound cool? I have no idea, but let's go ahead and get started. Step number one, easy enough, right? Open your image up in Photoshop. Now, after we've opened up our image in Photoshop, the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna hit Control J on your keyboard. If you're on Mac, Command J to go ahead and duplicate your layer. Now that we've duplicated the layer, I'm gonna show you a few things that I do before smoothing the skin to go ahead and get the best results possible. So what I like to do is grab my spot healing brush tool. I do that by hitting J on my keyboard. Now what I'm gonna do with the spot healing brush tool is clean some imperfections. So for example, these little things here in the pants, we're gonna go ahead and make those disappear. Then we're gonna zoom in real close to the face to go ahead and look at those minor imperfections on the skin. So we'll go ahead and actually clear these up before we begin the skin smoothing process. Now another thing that I really like to do with the spot healing brush tool is actually even clean up like the little hairs on the forehead. So always clean up these little hairs. It takes like an extra minute anyways. Okay, now I'm happy with the imperfections that I've cleaned up. Now the next thing I wanna do is grab my dodge tool. Now what the dodge tool actually does is it helps lighten up shadows, mid-tones, and even highlights. But we wanna go ahead and focus on the shadows of our subject. So always make sure to come up here and make sure that you have shadows selected or mid-tones or highlights, whatever that you're wanting to lighten up. In our case, shadows. What I like to do is just make my brush super huge and just begin brushing away on the face and on the neck. Now pro tip, make sure that you set your exposure anywhere from three to 5%. Anything above that is just gonna be way too much and you're gonna make your image look flat, especially if you're working on the shadows. Okay, now that I've cleaned up my subject with a spot healing brush and I've used the dodge tool, check out the difference that this has made. Huge difference and we haven't even began the skin smoothing process. And now that we've accomplished this, let's go ahead and get to the final part, which is actually smoothing the skin. So you wanna go to filter, you wanna go to neural filters, go ahead and let that load up and it's gonna give you a lot of different options to choose from. But again, we're focusing on the skin smoothing. So let's go ahead and get that selected. So once you've turned on the skin smoothing, you're gonna notice that it applies it right away. It sets your blur at 50%, your smoothing is at zero. You can of course mess with those numbers and see what works best for you. Personally, I like to set my blur to about 30 and I like to go ahead and just smooth it a little bit so i'll set that to around six to ten and once you're done hit okay and it will apply that filter to a completely brand new layer now let's go ahead and uncheck that layer so we can see the difference definitely makes a huge impact in your portrait photography. Now, if you still feel like maybe it's a bit too much skin smoothing, you can always go up to that filter, go to the opacity and just go ahead and lower it or bring it back up. The choice is ultimately yours. So my friends, that is the quickest and most efficient way to smoothing skin in Adobe Photoshop 2022 style. Like I mentioned, if you did enjoy, make sure to go and leave a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more of this type of content. And as always, stay creative, my friends.